pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding. I have a message today from our sister Julie Webby from I'm Calling You Now. Blogspot.com. Yahweh, the Father speaks. Your awakening. Created in my image and chosen before the foundation of time, I knew you, just as I knew He who would manifest and come forth from me is my Son, the embodiment and complete essence of me. He who spoke into existence all of creation, making it manifest, for He is the Word. All created by me have a choice in whom they serve. Freely I have given that choice, and freely each one chooses the outcome determined by your destiny in me. Your vessels can be used for honor or dishonor. You who choose to use them for honor are used as extensions of me, as my spirit works from within you. All that I am makes our home in you, who are chosen and elected, and your purposes carry out as you walk in this journey of obedience toward greater intimacy with us. Sent into a realm of duality where a choice must be made. Your example and your response to the position in which you have been called has eternal consequences. Those of you born into this realm with a proclivity towards holiness and righteousness are given an opportunity in this life to display life, truth, and the way, which is my son. To those who born with a proclivity towards evil, once born into this body, not all are able to make the choice in whom they, whom they will serve easily and they are bound by many dark influencing forces. In my son, I have given an example of how to live and how to walk this journey. He being me presented the only way by which any soul returns to me collectively. My body, you were to do the same in your quest for truth and eternal life with me, and all that is pure, holy and righteous will lead those I place in your lives to also see my example in this realm, where otherwise it would be a gross darkness for them. And a lot of time was given to those who rebelled against my authority. And my supreme being. And as that time draws to its close, the darkness intensifies. Hence, this is why those of you chosen for this time to awaken to remember who you are and why you are here have come here to be the last generation. You each have an assignment and a role to play and are a piece of a much larger puzzle. That you will soon understand with much more detail and clarity. The seed of my spirit is placed in every soul, and I create that I create, and the yearning deep within to know the truth is embedded in the core of your being. You are here to wake up, to remember that you are a spiritual being, in service to the only one creator, and your life is to demonstrate this in every aspect. My blueprint in your DNA carries the eternal life. When you understand exactly who and what has been placed within you, you come to the realization that nothing, nothing can harm you or destroy you as you are in me, eternal, immortal, untouchable heirs to my kingdom, my seal. My name is in every DNA strand. Because when I created all things, I knew who would choose loyalty to me and who would not along their journey. I also designed... A plan and made a way where otherwise there would be no way back to me for those who are in rebellion. My son demonstrated this way and his life's blood spilled and resurrected, pierced the veil and presented the door by which all who call him Savior and Messiah over their lives must be saved. He demonstrated in a fallen realm that anyone in him has eternal life and cannot be destroyed. His blood resurrected. You are made in his image, our image. Therefore you are his, you are mine, you are ours, and nothing can separate you from us. Your role is to imitate him in this flesh form while here. Your destiny is to wake up and follow in his leading, doing what he did, speaking what he spoke, manifesting life as he did in a realm of existence that is governed by darkness. The battle of good and evil, holy and unholy, righteous and unrighteous, played out in carnality will soon culminate in the physical manifestation of my victory, which is already won. I will restore, renew, and have heaven on earth as I have intended it to be. Your role is to collectively work to seek and knock with every fiber of your being, and I will answer you and reveal to you who I am and who you are in me, unifying you in my perfect design and revealing the greater plan. Your transformation is ongoing, both 
individually and collectively as my remnant bride. This is done by choosing to operate in the spiritual and not in the flesh or carnal nature in every thought, deed, and action. Every time you choose life, love, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, fruits of the Spirit, the frequency shifts within you and with everything around you. Your cells respond as they must align themselves to a higher design. Energy exists that cannot be destroyed, and when you align yourselves with me and my will, your very cells resonate with the great I am, and nothing can be the same around you. You are here to bring harmony back within your own soul and then collectively to this realm and all those who are lost and struggling to find their way out of darkness. Those who have not yet decided for me, for holiness and for righteousness. This is the greatest battle of my creation, the choice between loyalties of who you will serve. Ultimately, I will reveal, I will reveal truth to all, but to those of you first called and awaken your responsibilities to gather and teach and lead all those you are presented with until the great move I do on this earth, where all will see me as I am. I have chosen for you to be a reflection of me, your creator who is infinite and infallible in a finite and limited realm of his existence. You are to demonstrate love and life during the time frame you have been placed here on earth. Each generation has been given its assignments as well as the keys to unlock greater and greater mysteries of my kingdom. As you draw closer and closer to the end of this age, those incarnated now have an extremely urgent and desperate role to awaken this last generation to truth, as this generation will see my return. For those that have left this flesh form and did not choose me, they are lost, as this was a testing ground for them, for all who come here. Your obedience to call on your life will save many more that could have been lost for eternity. Do you understand how crucial this position is and why the urgency to prepare your souls and ready your hearts? This is the end of the age and the end of this part of my story. Have I not told you that in the end I would pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and I wish no one to be lost? The great separation is here, and there are even many layers to that scripture. This is the final dividing for this age of those who call me Father, and those who do not. Revelation, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are given to all who seek in earnest, and who surrender all. I am revealing greater details about your positions as you seek, and some of you now understand with greater clarity what you have been destined for in me during this time as you transcend into glorification in me. The power of the great I am is within you. You cannot be underestimated. This is why my son spoke to you, and you will collectively do all these things and more on earth, as you are an example of my power and authority multiplied across the earth. Greater is he that is in you than in anything that is in this fallen realm. You are kings and priests of an eternal realm of glory, a kingdom that can never be shaken or destroyed. Your realization of these profound, profound truths I am sharing with you will change you forever. will heal you from within as your very selves must respond to this truth embraced and grant your keys to even deeper and greater revelations as I draw you deeper and further into my heart. Will you will for eternity be maturing? For my heart is ever expanding. There is no limit to the potential I have placed within you while you are here. You choose your limitations, or you choose to break free of them. You are placed here to awaken and to remember. I have provided all things necessary to find the path to me. To complete truth, ignorance will not be an excuse. My people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. But for those who take this path of truth and intimacy with me, your rewards will be great. Every inner desire that I have placed in you will be fulfilled. The deepest longings of your heart will finally be answered. I am the answer to all things that each soul seeks in the quest to know one's purpose and reason for being here and why there is so much suffering in this realm. The challenge is to overcome all odds sent against you in this realm and break free of the illusion of this reality. Continue to wake up, my chosen children. Children, keep waking up. Wake up and greater things than these will, will you know. I hold you in my embrace, I bless you, I have you, I am in control of all things, and I am knowing and all-powerful. I will cause you to remember, keep running, asking, seeking, and knocking. I am here, my loves, I am here. I love you eternally, Yahweh your Father. All glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of your praise. And as with every message, go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. And feed your spirit and not your flesh. Surrender to our Father in heaven 
God's will be done in his perfect timing, in his perfect ways. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I have uh, one of my pugs today, today passed away. Um, the other one had passed away, uh, I want to say maybe like uh, three months ago. And this was the pair of the other one, you know, the, the mate of the other one or the best friend forever or whatever. And uh, they were, um, he, he passed today. And uh, so now they are both uh, um, out, of, uh, out of this um, li living in pain or with their, with their, the frailty of the body that they had as they were older. And it was hard to put them down. But I thank God that he's not suffering anymore and that um, he has no more pain. It was a tough thing to do that today, as I know many of you, if you've ever lost a loved one or pet. And um, I trust in God and I rejoice in this day that he has created that um, it's all in the will of the Father. And when things start going even more crazy in this world and people and loved ones are taken from us, some people are going to shout out and curse the name of God and blame him for these things, while others will thank him for his great mercy for taking them early and bringing them home to him. I just pray that each and every one that he takes early, I pray that uh, they will have called on him as their Lord and Savior. I pray that they will have asked him into their heart and to change them and to forgive them of their sins. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name, I give glory to God in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray that no matter what you're going through today in your lives, I pray that God will show you that his ear is not, too, is not too deaf, nor his arm too short to reach you in your time of need. I pray that he will give you strength to overcome any obstacles that are sent your way. I pray that he would place his holy fire hedge of protection round about you and your family on all sides, far above you and far below you. I pray he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and all their daily activities. I pray that he will give you strength to overcome all that is put before us. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name, amen and amen.